Hey everyone, Jump for Nintendo Life here, and today we're reviewing Tetris Effect for Nintendo Switch. But these are not my words, as the review was written by Damien McFerrin for NintendoLife.com and has been adapted to video by me. Anyway, let's take a journey. <laughs> Has there ever been a more perfect marriage of hardware and software than Tetris and the Game Boy? Despite not being an original Nintendo IP, Tetris felt like it was made for the monochrome portable, and it's hard to imagine either of them being anywhere near as successful without the other. However, Tetris is very much its own thing, and has utilized the staggering fame it achieved thanks to its pairing with Nintendo's console to turn it into one of the most famous video game properties of all time, with entries appearing on practically every device with a screen. One such evolution of the Tetris concept is the sublime Tetris effect, the brainchild of the legendary game designer Tetsuya Mitsuguchi. Originally released on PS4 in 2018 with impressive support for PlayStation VR, it has since gone multi-platform with an updated version that includes online multiplayer, one of the key omissions from the original game. Tetris Effect Connected is now available on Nintendo Switch, and this represents something of a homecoming. While we've had plenty of Tetris on Nintendo systems over the years, this feels more significant somehow. Perhaps because Tetris Effect Connected is effortlessly one of the best interpretations the world has ever seen. But before we get into all that, it's worth talking about Tetris Effect and what the connected subtitle even means. Well, it's Tetris, a game that surely needs no introduction, but with a synesthesia hook that means the on-screen imagery and accompanying audio are synchronized in a weird and wonderful way something which the former Sega staffer Misaguchi first experimented with in the seminal on-rail shooter Res. During gameplay, every moment, line clear, or hard drop is accompanied by some kind of aural and visual effect, and each level is set against a wonderfully animated and evolving backdrop. Some would argue that Tetris is a game that doesn't need graphical gimmicks to engage an addict, but Tetris Effect pulls out all the stops regardless, delivering some truly gorgeous visual effects which combine perfectly with the equally beautiful soundtrack. Tetris Effect Connected includes many of the recent additions to the core game that have been introduced over the decades, such as the ability to hold a piece in reserve and the power to spin a piece before it fully locks in place. However, the zone feature, which is entirely new for this entry, really makes the most impact. Clearing lines fills your zone gauge, and this can be activated at any time by pressing the ZR trigger. When you do this, time is frozen, blocks don't fall as they normally do, but lines don't vanish as they should either. Instead, cleared lines drop to the bottom of the well, and once the zone gauge is exhausted, they're all removed in a point scoring combo. And because these lines stay on screen while you're in the zone, the space available to you at the top of the well decreases. This makes it harder to clear the lines in multiples, and that's really the aim here. Not only can the zone help you get out of a tight spot, it's also key to getting the best scores in Tetris Effect. The game is divided into various modes, of which Journey is the one you'll be spending the most time with, at least initially. This is the game's solo campaign mode, and sees you moving through a series of stages by clearing a set number of lines. It's an engaging and often emotional trip, thanks largely to the aforementioned way the game marries light and sound. It is very short though, and on the default difficulty, it can take around an hour. There's replayability here, of course, but the game's other modes extend the longevity massively. Once you're done with the journey mode, the effect mode will take up the bulk of your single player time. These are a series of gameplay modes that are categorized to suit your current frame of mind. For example, if you just want to chill out, you can choose the relax section, take on a mode that's impossible to lose. The focus modes are a little more demanding and revolve around rigid targets, like clearing all the blocks or getting as many combos as possible. Adventurous modes mix things up by including things like infected blocks, or in the case of mystery mode, throwing in random effects like flipping the well horizontally or giving you blocks with sections missing. You could literally spend weeks just playing the modes in the effect portion of the game, and all that progress adds to your level. Experience points boost your level status, and you can unlock new avatars to use something that was also put to great effect in Mitsuguchi's Lumina series. Because there's this constant sense of earning something through play, it's easy to spend hours and hours in Tetris Effect Connected, beating your high scores and boosting your experience level. However, it's the game's connected mode, which was priorly an Xbox exclusive when the game came out in 2020 for that platform, which really makes the title sing. It's named after one of the online modes, which sees you and two other players team up and tackle an AI-controlled boss player. The objective is to fill the enemies well with junk while dealing with the various unhelpful effects that inflict on you and your companions. 
As the three of you clear lines, you'll fill the zone meter, which, once totally full, connects all the three wells together in a single super well. You then take turns collaborating and clearing lines across one giant screen. This mode is responsible for some of the most breathlessly entertaining multiplayer action we've had in a long time, and it's just one of the online modes. If collaborative nature isn't your thing, there's also competitive modes. You can take part in ranked, friend, and local matches. These include modes that disable the zone feature, and there's even an old school style of Tetris in here. This mode is very much Game Boy and NES Tetris. There's no ghost showing where you're gonna land, you can't hold pieces, you can't even hard drop. There's even a PAL speed mode replicating the European PAL NES consoles, offering a lower 50Hz style frame rate, swifter horizontal movement, and faster dropping speed in the later portions of the game. And thankfully, Tetris Effect Connected features cross-platform multiplayer. There's even little symbols denoting which system each person is playing on, so finding a match is a lot easier, at least in theory. We still had to wait a short while in some of the less popular modes, but that could also be because we're playing ahead of the Switch launch. It's important to remember this game did launch on systems prior to the Switch, so it could be that its arrival on Nintendo platforms will trigger an uptick in online usage. At least hopefully. And while we're on the topic of the Switch, it's worth addressing just how much better Tetris Effect Connected feels on a portable device. Don't get us wrong, it's an amazing version regardless of the system you choose to play on, but very much like the Game Boy version, Tetris Effect is a title that benefits massively from the ability to play it anywhere, whenever you want. It's the perfect impulse play, because each session is subtly different and often only lasts a few minutes. It's ideal for filling those short gaps in your daily schedule, and it's just as mesmerizing on the small screen. Furthermore, the Switch port is fantastic! Sure, when playing on the TV, it's possible to note a very, very slight difference between the Switch version and Xbox or PlayStation editions, but none of the visual impact is lost. For example, when playing the Ritual Passion stage, the ember-covered animated figures look just as impressive on the Switch as they do on any platform. Oh, and if you're playing on a shiny new OLED, the graphics look even more striking thanks to the improved contrast and brighter colors. There's also some brand new additions to this version. The HD rumble feature of the Joy-Con is exploited via the extra rumble option, which adds subtle vibration when moving pieces left and right. When you move left, the left-hand Joy-Con will rumble, for example. You also feel the difference between a hard drop and a soft drop. It's hardly a groundbreaking inclusion, but it's nice all the same. As is the ability to have four players huddle around a single Switch in the connected versus mode. Although this is only available on weekends during the special Full Moon event. Speaking of which, weekend ritual modes are available during a 24 hour window every weekend. This has players all around the world earning points towards a community goal, which, if met, rewards those who participated with a special avatar. Another way in which the game's online features massively enrich the overall experience. Tetris is one of the greatest games of all time, and Tetris Effect Connected is perhaps the best iteration of the classic puzzler yet. While this Switch port doesn't offer a great deal over existing versions in terms of features, it delivers the one key ingredient that its rivals cannot. Portability. Sure, some will argue that this unique brand of Synthanasia only comes into effect when playing through VR, but we would argue quite passionately against that. It's mesmerizing no matter how you play, and it greatly benefits from the ability to play it anywhere, anytime you want. Just as the Game Boy and Tetris combined to create an irresistible, world-conquering fusion back in 1989, Tetris Effect Connected has finally found the hardware that allows it to truly shine, making this an utterly essential purchase for all Nintendo Switch owners. Just don't forget those headphones. We here at Nintendo Life give Tetris Effect Connected a 10 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned until the end because some of my thoughts are coming up in just a moment, but be sure to look at that subscribe button and just keep staring because eventually that thing's gonna come to life and it's gonna take over your senses. And we'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Alright, so Damien said much of what I wanted to say, so this should be rather brief, but Tetris Effect is one of my favorite games of all time. I've never given a 10 out of 10 in my professional career, and I don't know when I will, but if I had reviewed this myself, I think this would be my first 10. Everything about this is a visual and audio masterpiece, and many people say, like, isn't it just Tetris? What makes this so special? And it's really hard to describe why this game is special, you really have to experience it yourself. But when you do, I think you understand. Uh, everything comes together. It's more than just Tetris. It's complemented by this amazing experience that surrounds it all. 
It's a game that touches upon all your senses in a way that I don't think any other game does. It really does move me. There's some stages that bring a tear to my eye. It's just an incredible package. Now, this is my third version of the game. I played it to death on PlayStation 4. I bought a Series X specifically for the connected mode in here, and now I'm playing on Switch now. So I'm definitely very geared to the higher end experience of Tetris Effect. But before I go into this, uh, my first playthrough on PS4 was the vanilla PS4. And on that, it's actually 30 FPS. So Tetris Effect is 30 FPS on PlayStation 4, and vanilla Xbox One and Xbox One S. Anything higher, like PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, are 60 FPS. It may not look like it, but this is a demanding game. There's effects absolutely everywhere, it's Unreal Engine 4, so the fact that it runs so smoothly on Switch at all is really impressive. But as you may have guessed, it is 30 FPS, and sometimes there are frame drops, and there's mild times where these can impact the gameplay. In the journey mode, when the scene transitions from one to the next, there are points where it does freeze up for just a moment, and sometimes the game is still running. I was pretty lucky in my playthrough for this not mess up any of my actual board, but as you can see here, I pretty much lose control for just that split second. It's not major enough to ruin the game in any capacity, but it is something I hope does get addressed over time. Visually too, there are downgrades, but I only really caught these when looking at screenshots that I'd taken. During the game itself, you are just so involved and mesmerized by what's going on that you don't really pay attention to the details, they, they kind of fill themselves in. So I won't deny that there are downgrades visually, but when playing, you really don't notice that the visual DNA and identity is absolutely there. But otherwise, the review does speak for itself. It's an amazing port of an amazing game, and the online features are incredible. I spent so much time on Xbox just playing the connected mode, and I love the classic NES style Tetris. So please don't let this one pass you by. It is an essential Switch game, and essential for anyone on any platform.